then i would strongly suggest to come to this university fees itself is like 10000 euros is not uh, high if the entire course yes for 2 year plus mandatory internship thesis oh, wow. course structure is also very nice who want to go into production logistics so job wise is good yeah it yeah. is good All right, guys. So welcome back once again. I am at the moment in Kiel right now, and I'm here sitting with students who are uh, from Hochschule, Fachhochschule. It's FH yes, Kiel. FH. But I'm sitting at the moment in University of Kiel's campus. What are you studying? I'm doing my masters in industrial engineering. Both of you, yeah. Yes. Yep. yes. Okay. Okay. So before we go ahead uh, with this topic, can both of you introduce yourself like 30 seconds each? What is your bachelor's? How much grades you had? What have you done so far? During my bachelor's, I was in Chennai, SRM. I did my bachelor's. in mechanical engineering i passed out with around uh, 8.6 cgpa and uh, did a few internships you know uh, related to uh, education consulting uh. i worked in the industry yeah and after that i tried to apply to uk as well uh, got some offers but then i had to back out then now i'm settled down here how much you scored you said bachelor's 8.6 8.7 8.6 how many universities did you apply eight or nine and i had offers for four i guess yep i'm going to come to that what were those sure. can you give the mic to him so my name is mohammad yusuf and i come from bangalore I completed my bachelor's in Bangalore from Golsha College of Engineering, and my CGPA was 8.05. It was in what bachelor's? In? Mechanical engineering. Mechanical. Yeah. Yours was Me- mechanical. Mechanical as well. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. So after completing bachelor's, I did my like internship in a company, and after that, I got a job there in a wearing and wearing hardware manufacturing company, and there I worked for like two years, and after that, I applied to Kiel University because the structure and curriculum was like uh, very much matching to my where, where I was working. Mm. So now I got it here. What kind of bachelors are accepted for this master? what you are studying this is like related to industrial engineering so it is like more of like mechanical and mechatronic mm-hmm. or industrial engineering or me- something related to that is accepted for this course how many universities did you apply seven universities uh, i got into two uh, uh-huh. one is hatave berlin and one is fakakshale kiel why did you select this why didn't you come to berlin berlin is like very expensive city kiel is like a very beautiful city calm city and and the course content especially was very much uh, related to my okay. background so that is the reason you applied for seven you got yeah. selected in two you yes. got rejected with Five. Yes. What were they? Systems engineering at South West Fallen and Harz. I applied to management. management. Ingolstadt for automotive engineering. Darmstadt for aerospace engineering. Other one like uh, I don't know. I don't remember. One more. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No worries. Which universities and what courses did you apply? I'm not sure about the courses, but I'll uh, give you a little background of what happened. I was interested to get into management, but then I had a, a degree in engineering, so it's pretty tough to you know get into public universities in Germany right. apart from what you've done in a bachelor's. So that. my options were pretty limited to start with but then i had offers from uh, university of rosenheim one from uh, zurich westfalen and uh, the ones that rejected me were ingolstadt then uh, okay that's <sighs> fine make sure that you check the description of this video i'll put some of the universities for your help let's just fast forward your journey what semester are you in i'm in my second and i'm in my first semester i just arrived here like 40 days back nice yeah. <laughs> okay okay <laughs> did you do some homework when it comes to finding a job the job market right now is very tense right would you yes. agree Yes yes sure sure I would agree yes I did a lot of homework regarding my job because our university they are charging tuition fees here so it's very 10000 euros your course yes is paid course yes yes, yes. 10000 euros yes. it's a public university but still we are paying 10000 euros That's surprising. approx okay <laughs> so yes uh, related to my university and my course which I'm doing industrial engineering like hamburg is just like one hour away from here so I think uh, airbus is airbus manufacturing facility is set up in hamburg so I think uh, that was the major reason that i chose this university and uh, the job market is also very good if you see in the airbus lot of openings are going on but the only requirement is you need to have a german language for this kind of course like industrial engineering when it comes to full time job what yeah. area you are interested in you said manufacturing. manufacturing manufacturing new product development or like process engineering so if you yeah. were to acquire top 3 skills right now to get employed yeah. what would that be so first of all uh, for mechanical engineering like we see our course more related to management so first is uh, the management and uh, management related courses like if you see sap sap is very important for our uh, right. field so sap would be the first thing and second thing i, th- I would say like 3d softwares like uh, so- solid works catia that would really help in the manufacturing processes and and other softwares like uh, just like normal softwares like microsoft office is also very much needed and uh, yeah presentation skills and everything it's it all matters because we are in, into management right so okay. i would okay. say all those skills matter a lot can you give them have you met some alumni who have graduated 
graduated from yep, this? Uh, quite a few. Something? Yep, quite a few, quite a few. I have uh, a couple of seniors working in Airbus already. Okay. Like he mentioned, uh, a few in Amazon, a few in, uh, what is that called, a Flink. And uh, that's pretty much it, I guess. If you were to graduate and ask for a salary, mm -hmm. based on the profile you have, have you done some homework? How much you would get? Yes. Uh, uh, or you would want to ask? You may deserve uh, a lot. I, but wanna I ask, want to know. Yeah. yeah, ask. I could ask anything. Yeah, but realistically speaking, a master's degree in industrial engineering, fresher for a fresher, could start anywhere from uh, 40 to 45, 50. And uh, also depends on the city as well. And uh, before finishing this question, it was not surprising for me to see you surprised when he said we had a, a tuition fee. Yeah. And uh, that's because this course was uh, designed by industrial leaders. Uh, really? And uh, the people who are teaching us are uh, CEOs, founders, angel investors. And uh, and uh, this, tuition is, this tuition fee is directly contributing to their yeah. work. And uh, I feel uh, for the quality of stuff we get and uh, compared the syllabus with other universities having similar courses, we've got a pretty solid uh, okay. syllabus. And uh, Can any of you conclude this video? Like what, what do you want to tell those students who are watching us right now? They come from your background, probably they have same desires as you have. What do you want to tell them? If someone is coming from mechanical background and if they are not able to get into some public universities and it's getting very difficult and if they are thinking of going to some private universities then I would strongly suggest to come to this university because the fees itself is like 10,000 euros is not uh, that high if you see. For the entire course? Yes, yeah. for two years. Yeah. It's a four semester program? Yes, four yes. semester oh. program plus uh, mandatory internships, the thesis oh, wow. and the course structure is also very nice for someone like uh, who's, who want to go into production, logistics and the course structure is actually very nice. City is, itself is also very beautiful and Hamburg as I said like the industries in Hamburg. The job wise also, is good. Yeah, it yes. is good. You won't struggle you think? Yes. yes. So can I add something as well? Yeah, yeah. People who are aspiring to come to Germany I cannot stress enough on uh, the language. Niklesh has uh, mentioned it in his videos a lot of times and like my man, uh, friend, uh, friend said I would uh, you know ask people to acquire required skills before coming to the course, starting the course and uh, try to build up a good network before coming here and uh, you know getting into the job market that would be really helpful for you guys. Cool. With that being said, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.